Shelburne, Vermont is lavishly endowed with natural beauty and open land. Surprising then that its top attraction is a factory. We make well over 200,000 bears per year now. The Vermont Teddy Bear Company, one of the top tourist destinations in all of Vermont. The most popular spot on the factory tour, the Teddy Bear Hospital. All the bears are guaranteed for life, so whatever happens to it, you just send it back to our hospital and we fix it for free. No questions asked. Got to take the guts out, <laughs> but they always go back in. I always put the old back in them. Dr. Pam presides over this teddy bear mash unit. Over a year, I usually do about 3,000 bears. Dogs just love our bears too, <laughs> but they're a little bit rougher. <laughs> and then they get a IV drip over there for their, before they go home, so they don't go home hungry. Pretty as it is, the town of Shelburne lacks the classic village green, but the town does have a gravitational center. As in so many communities, it's found at the local general store. It's steeped in history and it's steeped in the legacy of it being a store for the last 162 years. I really do feel privileged to carry on the legacy of this store. Carmen Austin is the new owner of the Shelburne Country Store, and she is determined to be the only new thing in here. There are the antique tins and the old cigar store figure. Even the lanterns that are hanging, those are actually original to the store, and the coffee grinder, it's original to the store. As with any good country store, there is a mix of the essential and the indulgent, like the 25 flavors of homemade fudge. And the Shelburne Country Store is the local go-to for that unique Vermont specialty, the maple creamy. Thank you very much. You put 100% real Vermont maple syrup in them. So you're getting a true Vermont experience. Austin spent years in the health insurance field, but worked in her family's general store as a kid. She always dreamed of owning one herself, this one. It was back in the 90s when I had said to myself out loud, if I were ever gonna own a general store, it was gonna be this one. And I'm here now. And I feel like I have arrived where I'm supposed to be. It feels like home. They are a sign of the season every bit as reliable as the changing of the leaves. They just kind of go up and nobody knows when and all of a sudden they drive by and go, oh, they're here, they're here. It's the annual appearance of the leaf people. It's a very important part of Shelburne in the fall. They go up in September and they come down right before Halloween. For years, Sue Penny has dressed her models in surprisingly chic thrift store finery. Some people say they look better than I do. This year, there are 64 leaf people. Each gets a fresh outfit every year. I change them every year. Everybody says, just put them out the way they are. I said, I can't do that, I'm not that way. There are hazards. This one suffered an injury. She got run over, like someone maybe backed into her. Don't know exactly, but anyway, she survived. <laughs> the Leaf people aren't connected to any commercial purpose or charitable cause. They are simply an act of generosity. One woman's whimsical gift to the town she loves. I can't even begin to tell you how many people it affects within our community someone stops and says, thank you. I'm glad that I've been able to give that to the town. And Sue Penny insists her leaf people aren't scarecrows. They're too chic and sassy for that. And why the name leaf people? Because they come out with the changing leaves. Back to the Vermont Teddy Bear Company. They recently opened a design studio within a toy store in the city of Burlington. The shop opened in partnership with the city's Lakefront Science Center. Still ahead, cream, sugar, and a pat of butter for your coffee. 